What is going on guys? David Productions 345 here. Got my dirty ice clothes on. You guys already know what time it is. Big Red is right here. We're gonna be doing some maintenance. Today's an oil change day, so we got all this stuff out here. All right, so we're gonna try to film this video. Hopefully we're gonna finally get good footage today. Got my glasses on. We're gonna be doing an oil change. So, this is gonna be a step-by-step -step on how I do my oil changes on my 2013 Dodge Charger RT Max all-wheel drive. Shut up, bugs, you're annoying as hell. Anyways, without further ado, first step obviously is to pop the hood, which I did, pop that hood. Next, what I like doing is I like pulling out the dipstick just a little bit, so don't forget to put oil back in. Cap comes off to refill it so you don't forget. Obviously, this takes 5W20. Also, am I going to be using gloves today? Hell to the no. I used to use gloves and then I couldn't feel the bowl that well, so no gloves. Actually, you know what? We're going to put this cap back on just so nothing gets in there. All right, so what I usually like doing is I like running the car for a couple minutes before I start doing it. I just got home, so the car's being ran for a few minutes. I'm going to wait a little bit longer, obviously. Dude, these every time I try to film, bro, there's either planes, there's bugs, there's frogs. Bro, like, oh, man. I'm going to fight something, bro. Anyways, so what I like doing is I like running the car for a few minutes before I start my project so the oil is thinner. Also, it is a little bit warm, so I probably should be wearing gloves, but I'm going to probably wait a little bit longer just to start this project. Anyways, let me show you guys what you guys need for this project and this process. It's pretty simple. I do this every 3,000 miles on my Dodge Charger just to make sure Big Red has fresh oil. So let's show you guys the products that I'm going to be using. So we're using 5W20 full synthetic platinum high mileage from Pennzoil. It's seven quarts of that. So we got that here. We're going to need a Mopar filter. Oh, look, we got three of them. M0899. So these are hard to tell to find in the stores. I used to get these at Walmart as well as this. But lately I have not been able to find this at Walmart. So I just order this online usually. Or Advanced Auto Parts or AutoZone. You're going to need a funnel to pour the oil in. Unless you're him. Then you're going to need one of these. Oil filter wrenches. I got a new one because mine is bent. It's like three bucks at Walmart. You guys can see. Also you're going to need... A 10 millimeter to take off the undershield. You're gonna need a 13 millimeter to take off the oil drain plug. And this is for the oil filter to take that off. Also, I forgot one thing that I always use that I don't know why I always forget to grab. You're gonna also need an extension for the filter wrench. You're gonna need a jack to jack the car up. You're gonna need a pan to catch your oil in. And finally, cardboard. So I'm gonna go look around for some cardboard so I don't spill oil all over this driveway again. And I'll see you guys in a second after we start this process because this is gonna take a little bit longer just so I can get the good angles for you guys. So this video is not horrible because I tried to do this video before and these bugs are ruining this damn video, bro. Every time I try to film these damn, bro. Okay, okay. Anyways, I'm gonna wait a few minutes just so the car doesn't burn my shit. So see you guys in a second. All right, so we're gonna jack up the car first and obviously we're gonna use a wheel truck in the back so the car doesn't fall and roll off. I'm gonna go underneath the car real quick to show you guys what I'm gonna be using. This, looking for this right here, there's going to be a big oval hole and then a triangle next to it. If you guys have seen that right here, that is the jack point. We're gonna put the jack right here. We're gonna jack up the car. We're gonna get it under her and start this process before it's sunburn. It's about to be crispy as hell today. So see you guys after the car is jacked up. Car is up. Get the wheel chalk. So car can't roll. Alright guys, so run underneath Big Red. Hopefully you guys can see this. There are four 10 millimeter bolts right here. There's one, two, and two in the back. Can't reach. Three right here, and then four on the other side. We're gonna take those all off real quick and then I'll see you guys in a second after they're all off. All right, shield is off. This is the oil pan right here. There's a 13 millimeter bolt right here. And the oil filter is right up there. You guys can see. So what we're gonna do is start by taking the drain plug off for this. It's gonna be seven quarts. So we wanna have the pan catch the fluid about like right here, just so it doesn't go all over your driveway. All right, so this is the pan. The cool part about this is that it has a cap and also basically it'll catch all the fluid in here and it'll drain in here without you having to spill it and when you're wanting to pour it into one of these to take it to the recycling you basically just open this up and pour it in instead of having to like worry about the fluid on the top and obviously before you do that 
clean off the top so the food doesn't come out. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get the strain plug off with the 13 millimeter and let's go. Every time I do this, I swear I spill oil. We did it. All right, hopefully we caught that all. All right, guys, don't cook me in the comments, but um, some of the angles in this video are kind of wild, bro. Like, <laughs> I was trying to get a video of, like, the oil draining out, and it wasn't really great. So I got it a little bit on the camera. So hopefully you guys seen that. Also, I'm, like, tired as so I just got out of work and shit. Now, look at this beautiful view. Let me, let me pan the camera real quick over here. Sheesh, brother. And then Big Red right here and just chilling in the cut. Yeah, so guys, basically, as I said before, the angles are kind of whack for draining the oil, but I tried my best. It's kind of hard to get the camera underneath the car when I'm on the ground, when it's not on jack stands. So it's, yeah, I don't know, guys. Tried my best. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Usually whenever I film this shit, or I try to film this shit, I get oil everywhere, and there was only a little bit of oil on my hand. So that's good. So we're going to let that drain. We're going to grab some shop towels. We're going to wipe off the area of where the drain plug was. Put that shit back in. Tighten that shit a little bit. Don't use a torque wrench. Don't use any of that shit. Just tighten it down with by hand till it's snug and then one more turn. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to do the oil filter. Then we're going to keep this project moving. All right, we got some napkins. We're going to see how she's draining. Y'all can see if she's dripping anymore. Not really. Go we'll see. I'll just dabble it off like that. Take the drain plug. I gotta clean this off as well. Alrighty guys, I could, probably should have used this angle before, but basically just tighten drain plug. Alright. Tighten this bitch up. Not like that, you gotta obviously crank it a, couple, a few more times. Like that, that's good. Alright. You guys know what time it is, alright filter time. Basically all I'm doing is putting this wrench under here like that i'm loosening this so obviously i'm not going to do this with one hand because i got to put the pan here so oil doesn't get everywhere so i'm gonna probably not film this part so i can make sure make sure everything is clean i'm actually doing this and i'm loosening this with this so i'll see you guys in a second after we got the filter off all right guys so here's a new filter right here what i like doing before i install a new filter is obviously take some of the oil Bust the oil open, basically. Get some of it on your finger, like that. And then coat the top seal. So obviously, this doesn't get stuck when you try to take it off. Or when the next person tries to take it off. So, that's what I do. Some people fill this up with oil. I don't do that. I just coat the top with oil. So, I'm going to install the same process. Just hand tighten it. Like put it in, thread it in. You know, maybe one or two cranks with the filter wrench. And yeah, so I'll see you guys after that's done. Already, new filter's on, obviously underneath the car. Make sure when you're taking the oil off that this seal is not stuck on there or else you're not gonna be able to have a proper seal. And whenever you fill up your oil, you're gonna spill it everywhere. Next step, what you wanna do is fill it up. So let me make sure I'm not spilling anything. Just take seven quarts. Let me move this over, like right here. So let's put the cap on the side. Let's grab our funnel right here. Whenever I do these oil changes, I buy two of these. So then one of the times I not, I only have to buy one of these. So if that makes sense. I always buy two at a time because that's 10 quarts and you have a three left. So basically the next time you only have to buy one, five quarts. So let me teach you guys a trick. When you're pouring oil, a lot of people think you're supposed to pour it like this because that's how you're supposed to do it. That's when it glugs. For this cap is on the camera. Dude, this exposure is kind of whack, bro. Hold on guys, let me wipe off the lens. It's kind of blurry. Alright, so basically, instead of pouring it like this, you're going to pour it over, like this. So let's see if we can do this without spilling any. Let's go. Okay, and of course it's starting to spill already. Nice. This funnel sucks.
So that's four. So the courts are on the left, the leaders are on the right. All right, and as you guys can see, let me flash it out so the light is perfect. You guys can see a little bit over two. All right, so let's check it. Look, we're exactly at two. So seven quarts are in. Take off the funnel. Clean that. Cap back on. Now, what you want to do is make sure you're not dripping over the ground. You guys can see no drips, which means everything is tight. Obviously, what you're going to want to do lastly is to put the shield back on. And then run the car. Make sure has enough oil check the fluid level there but since i have an oil catch can we're going to also empty that as well so i'll show you guys how to do that all right so i have an oil catch can so i'm going to empty this as well you see just spin it off see how much oil is in here it's a little bit i just did this a couple days ago so was not too worried about that but you guys can see this thing is catching oil so obviously the catch can works so same thing it's just Dump this. You guys see this oil is clean too, so it's a good sign. Dump that right on in there. I have to wipe this off real quick. Also, guys, what I like doing is I actually sealed this with oil as well. You guys see this seal has oil on it. So I'm gonna do the same thing again just to make sure this thing can come off. Because the last time I did this, this thing got stuck on here. So lube up the rubber seals with oil so you won't have a problem taking your catch can off the next time. This thing does not have to be cranked down, but just enough to be tight. All right, that's how you do the oil catch can. That's how you do an oil change. I gotta fill up my windshield washer fluid too. So, pop that open real quick. Different funnel for this. I'm probably still gonna spill this shit while. Damn, this girl thirsty, bro. She's drinking all my liquids. Yeah, we're almost there. I can see the fluid. I'm gonna just go all the way up to the top so I don't have to worry about this for a little bit. This car drinks fluids, whether it be gasoline, coolant, oil, windshield washer fluid. Shit, bro. Anyways, what we're gonna do now is put the undershield back on. It's the four ten mm It's the four ten millimeter bolts over here. I'm gonna pop that back on. Clean everything up, and I'll show you guys how to dispose of this oil. Basically, what we're gonna do is clean everything up and pour this back into the old oil jug it should be about like seven quarts sometimes a little bit less if you spilled some so anyways we'll see you guys in a second after i clean this up and i'll show you guys how to dispose of this because i have oil all over myself right now and oiled up huh? and i'll see you guys in a second what you're gonna want to do is obviously check the fluid so we're gonna do that real quick check that one more time Oil looks perfect. If you guys didn't see that, perfect. So put all the old oil into the jug, clean everything else up. I'll see you guys after this is all clean. All right, so I just cleaned up a little bit. I'm gonna get to take a shower. But let's show you guys how to reset the trip. So you're gonna basically let the car idle for a little bit. But what I like doing, first of all, is making sure that there's no copyrighted music. Have the gauge page up. Go to here. All the way down to, where is it? Trip info right here. So you wanna reset this. So I think, since I have cluster swap, it's this button and then the plus button. So let me do that real quick. Let's try this. There we go, you guys see zero. So that's how I keep track of how many miles I've driven. And what I like about this is that I have it set up so whenever I'm driving, it'll show in the top middle of how many miles I've driven so far. So you guys see zero. So that's how I keep track of my 
oil changes basically every 3,000 miles and obviously we're gonna just check the temps you guys see oil pressure everything's good so that's how I keep track of my oil and when I need to change my oil there's also an oil change do thing that comes up I've never seen that I forget how to do that I think you have to like put the car in the run position then press the gas pedal three times I mean I don't worry about that because I just keep track of my own miles I do it every 3,000 so and my way is easier oil change went well you already know when I do my oil changes, when I do any work on this car, I make sure that shit is A1. I make sure that shit is locked in. I make sure Big Red is chill. Let me get a picture of the lights on real quick for you guys. I like holding this camera. It's kind of cool. I see why people like doing those interviews and shit. There's just a shot of the lights if you all want to see Big Red at night. Anyways, before the video ends, I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for tuning into my videos. Thank you guys for supporting my videos and myself in terms of leaving comments, liking the video, all that, guys. I love seeing your guys' comments. I love reading them. Even the hateful ones, it makes me want to work harder and make better videos. But I want to say thank you, guys. You right there behind the camera, you watching this video right now, I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for watching Big Red and I take our adventures going places that we never knew we'd go. Going to car meets, going to trips, going to road trips, doing all that. Alrighty guys, that is the end of this video. Hopefully you guys found it informational, entertaining. If you guys want to see some certain videos on how to do stuff, make sure to leave those ideas down below in the comments. Anyways guys, we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers, so make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe, make sure to turn your notifications on, share this video with your friends. Without further ado guys, me and Big Red, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out guys.